GDP growth explained why 5.2% in China and 2.5% in the US mean different things. One of our viewers comment in our video why China with a growth of 5.2% is a slow down but US with a GDP growth of 2.5% is called solid economic growth. When we hear that China's economy grew by 5.2%, while the US only saw a growth of 2.5%. It might seem like China is racing ahead while the US lags behind, but the story isn't that straightforward. Let's unpack the mystery behind these numbers. Think of GDP or gross domestic product as the total score of a country's economic game. It counts everything produced by all the people and companies in the country. More growth means the economy is expanding and generally, people might be better off. China has been on a fast track, moving from a rural, agrarian society to an urban, industrial powerhouse in just a few decades. This kind of transformation demands high-speed growth. Imagine it like a rocket launching into space. It needs a lot of energy to break free from gravity. The US economy, on the other hand, is like a mature tree in a dense forest. It grows steadily, adding a new ring each year. Here. Growth is about deepening roots and sprouting new leaves rather than rapid expansion. So, why is China's 5.2% growth seen as slowing down? Because, like a sprinter who starts to slow after a fast start, China is transitioning from rapid expansion to more sustainable, quality growth. This shift is essential for long-term health, but means the percentage growth appears too slow. For the US, a 2.5% growth rate is like a marathon runner keeping a consistent pace. It's not about speed, but endurance and resilience. In the context of a mature, developed economy, maintaining a steady pace is an achievement, reflecting stability and gradual improvement. GDP growth rates are like the pulse of a country's economy, but the health of that economy depends on more than just the speed of its heartbeat. It's about how sustainable and balanced the growth is, considering the stage of development and the well-being of its people. So, when we talk about economic growth, remember, it's not just the percentage that counts. It's what's happening behind those numbers how a country is building its future.